36 hours from now, the race for the White House that began two years ago, and yes, it really has been that long, it'll finally be in the hands of you, of voters, or at least the ones waiting until Tuesday to cast their ballots. But before that, one last campaign sprint with Vice President Kamala Harris stopping by SNL last night. You see her there. Then today, hitting multiple stops across Michigan. Former President Trump had his first rally at 10 this morning, starting in Pennsylvania, then racing through Michigan and now Georgia. His closing message overshadowed by his disturbing reference to violence against the press covering him. We also have much of the political world trying to figure out what to make of these new numbers from one of the country's top pollsters showing Vice President Harris may be doing better than the conventional wisdom anticipates in Iowa, a state that hadn't really been on anyone's battleground bingo card. Our teams are there and with both campaigns on the road. We'll get to our correspondence in a minute, but now let's start with our guy at the big board here. We meet again, Steve Kornacki. Allie, this is it. I know. Our last NBC News national poll, and the headline is super consistent. This race is still extremely competitive. Exactly. I mean, it's fitting because certainly no one really knows what to make of everything that's been happening. Yeah. So we land on a 49-49 Harris-Trump tie in our final NBC News national poll. And take a look a little bit underneath this here. How about the issues that are driving this campaign? And again, this is a consistent story. Where does Harris do? best a 20 point advantage over Trump on who do you trust more who would do a better yeah. job when it comes to abortion Trump again it's inflation it's the cost of living that's his best edge here he does well on the border too but we've seen that throughout the campaign and that's where it lands at the end again consistency over the last few months here you know this I know you know this races are not won or lost nationally they are won or lost in the battleground states and there's some new numbers here that may contain potentially some surprises final set of battleground polls all of them here from the New York Times, Siena College, uh, one of the best regarded pollsters yep. out there. And look, they do show Harris with an advantage here. It's very slight, but in Wisconsin, North Carolina, that's, that's interesting. very significant, right? Because that's the only battleground Trump actually carried in 2020. Harris trying to play offense there. Uh, Trump, Michigan, Arizona, you know, so much attention on Michigan, uh, given all the uh, Gaza war controversies. Yep. And then right there, Pennsylvania, the biggest of all the swing states, dead even. I have to talk about a state that's not on this list that a lot of people are talking about, and that is Iowa. We'll have more Barrett there with more in just a second. But this shock poll coming from a very well-respected pollster. She's considered the gold standard. And that's it. She has picked up on last-minute trends before that no one else has seen. In fact, she saw that four years ago with Trump doing surprisingly well. And today, Ann Selzer, who does the Des Moines Register poll, out with one showing Harris three points ahead of Trump yeah. in a state Trump won both times by almost 10 points. This was not on the battleground list. It, it may not be this time around, but it could pick up on some early trends. And, and also it raises the possibility, are there other states out right. there like this? Steve Kornacki, great to see you. We'll talk again, I know, in the days to come. Appreciate it. it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.